Holy shit! shit, shit, shit. Alright, this is Blood on Sweden back again with another Source Mod plugin tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to install and set up Quake Sounds, a feature many people want on their servers. Uh, personally, I don't get it, it's just annoying, but a lot of people want it, so here's the tutorial. First of all, we need to download the plugin itself, so head over to Allied Motors, I will link it in the video description. We want to scroll down to the bottom to the attached files, and we want the Quake zip file, so I'm gonna download that. Plugin.quakesounds.txt, gonna download that. Quakesoundlist.cfg, and the smquakesound.cfg. And then, of course, the plugin itself for the mod that your server runs. Mine is Counter Strike Source, so I'm going to get the top option right there. Alright, so we got our five files that we need. So let's go ahead and put those in their correct folders. So open up your server folders, go inside Orange Box and C Strike. Right, first off, we need to install the sm underscore quake sound. Right there. We will put this in CFG and source mod. I already have this installed, so there will be some extra pop up windows for me here. But yeah, uh, C Strike CFG source mod. Next up is open up your quake zip file. You will so find Quake inside, a folder that should be placed in your sound folder. So, Orange Box C Strike Sound, right there. Oh, there we go. Next up, let's see, let's see. Plugin.quakesounds.txt, right there should be placed in translations of source mod so add-ons source mod translations there we go uh, next is the sound list that should be in add-ons source mod configs so back to source mod and go inside configs right there and last but not least into your plugins folder, select your SMX file, which is the plugin itself, and just pull it over, and there you go. Alright, now that we have everything set, you are really good to go, but there are some things we want to check out before. First of all, you can go back to your CFG folder, source mod, C strike CFG source mod, and open up the SM underscore quake sounds. Here you can enable, disable the plugin, you can turn off announcements, default text setting for new users, etc. etc. The very basics of the plugin. Just wanted to show you that so you know that you have the config for the plugin. Next, go inside add ons, source mod, configs, and open up the Quake Sound list. Oh. I'm going to open that up with the uh, WordPad. There we go. All right, I'm just going to show you how to config this if you want to change some things. Um, uh, let's see, there we go. Um, first of all, you have the headshot sounds. This is quite simple. Um, one here the number right here means how many kills you need in order for the the uh, sound to play so once you have one headshot the headshot mp3 will play and you will also get the text the blah blah got a headshot or whatever it is and then you have this last option where you probably want to change things if there is anything you want to change with the plugin and it says 9 right here and if you look in the description of the plugin on Ally Motors you can see the variables for config but you can also see there is no 9 here but
but what this means is it's 8 plus 1 oh, equals 9. So this really means, this 9 really means that the sound headshot will be played for all players and the message will be printed to everyone. So let's say you only want the player that actually get the headshot to hear the headshot sound but you want the text to be printed to everyone. Then we just take a look here. 2 is play sound to attacker and 8 is print text to everyone. So all you have to do is take 8 plus 2 which is 10. So if we change this 9 to 10 that means the sound will only be played for the player that actually kills and the message will be printed to everyone. 9 is the most commonly used uh, variable here in this config so you might want to change that if you you know want to I just showing you how this is done. So here are the regular kill sounds four, four kills and you will hear dominating uh, and again the config variable is set to 9 meaning play sound to everyone and print text to everyone and so on and so forth yeah that's really it that's how easy this plugin is to set up so I hope this helps and I will see you the next time